because everything they touch every time they were in front of the goal it was going in we will see chelsea scoring more goals chelsea being more clinical chelsea having the reputation that they had in the past we are living in pep guardiola's world he's creating managers sending out to the league so that like he can have some more competition and like motivate his squad a little bit more imagine a world where 1 2 3 is like chelsea arsenal Ch- Ar- city chelsea and arsenal let's, yeah, let's arsenal, correct the chelsea. order let's correct the order <laughs> 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 Let's switch our focus to Chelsea. What do you guys realistically think is path forward for the club is in terms of football? Let's not go into finances. Let's not go into transfers. Let's not go into how the club is run. That all is shitty and crap. We all know that. And there's so many, so many things that we can point out as like you know pro- probably wrong doings or whatever. But let's just talk about football. Six two goals. Cole Palmer three assists, one goal. Moedueke hat trick. I mean, there are some mm-hmm. decent players. Let's talk about the facts, right? Like one is that again, I'm gonna keep coming back to this. It's game week two. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so if you <laughs> see the first Copium. half if you see the first half wolves had majority of the chances they could have scored more goals than like what was eventually on board and second half was just like it reminded me of the 7-0 liverpool united to be honest because everything they touch every time they were in front of the goal it was going in it was just like absurd efficiency from the shots that they are getting they're extremely clinical and i think it's the law of averages because the first game against city they did have chances they were extremely wasteful this game they just converted most of their chances i think if you look at the xg between wolves and uh, chelsea i don't think it's just too too far off wolves had all of the chances in the first half chelsea didn't even have like more than one xg i think in the second half it's just like wolves had higher xg cl- than chelsea yeah they're just like clinical and they were on point one good thing that i like about the football aspect of chelsea is that i think we've all i think aj you had your apprehensions about like cole palmer and how he would fit in i think mariska just moved him more inward inside and, yeah yeah and dude like he is just like a magnet defenders yeah. just draw on to him because they expect cole palmer to take a shot and today he was just like extremely smart he was just using madueke and then like as soon as he saw the defenders moving out of position he just like laid one ball off of him and who wouldn't want to be madueke bro when like all the defenders yeah. are like congregating towards cole palmer right like so they're playing through him they have the squad and i'm also going to say one One more thing. We are living in Pep Guardiola's world. He's creating managers, sending out to the league so that like he can have some more competition and like motivate his squad a little bit more. Imagine a world where one, two, three is like Chelsea, Arsenal, Ch- Ar- City, Chelsea, and Arsenal. Let's, Ar- yeah, City, let's Arsenal, correct the Chelsea. order. Let's correct the order. <laughs> 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 City, Arsenal, and Chelsea, and uh, I'm just, I'm just annoyed that like when he was at Bayern, he did not take a certain under 18 manager under his wing, and now he's just like a very. <laughs> But oh um, god, the jokes aside, so, it's it's a good squad, right? Like it's yeah. a good squad. Things can click. And I love how Enzo Mariska seems like very ballsy, you know, like the way that he presents itself. He's like, I don't care. There are forty players, so what? Like twenty yeah. players, I don't even see every week. I'm like, bro, mm-hmm. are you really saying this? And uh, the similar question was asked to Pochettino, and like Pochettino fumbled. Like an experienced Premier League manager who's like managed for so many seasons, Pochettino just like, oh, I don't know that player. Is that player there? <laughs> like it just came off very yeah. wrong. And when Mariska was asked a similar kind of question, he just came off very bad. At See, like it's like I don't yeah. care. Like it's the club. I'm just gonna here to like manage and. I think it's yeah. that fearlessness is quite refreshing to see because you know he like Mariska has absolutely nothing to lose. He's coming up from a from Leicester City and he's gotten this chance. And I think he he will try to make the best of his resources. He has a lot of resources at his disposal. Fifty three of them, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean on paper the squad is good. To be very fair, on paper they have a good squad. They have a young squad. And if he can get them to click in a way. that he wants them to we, we will see more of what we saw we will see chelsea scoring more goals chelsea being more clinical chelsea having the reputation that they had in the past you know like team sort of feared that blue color coming at them but being that being said i feel like we should have measured expectations because like games like these are usually one offs and chelsea are also at a very nascent stage in their rebuild and i think like realistically coming back to your question aj i think a europa league spot solid fifth or a fourth even if it if possible would be a good start for their rebuild i feel and if they are not just that but if they are also able to achieve that in a very like safe and stable way you know like how aston villa finished fourth last season it was like a nice sort of run they had towards the end of the league it should not be a scramble for the fourth but more like a good way of established playing style established way okay how this is how chelsea is going to play this is what we should expect from a chelsea game so if they can achieve that realistically speaking and you know get at least a europa if not a champions league i think that'll be a 
really really strong first season for and some rest ka starting here yeah. i think another thing i'd preface is that one and two is locked in i think right like we all know what we really switch of an order city and Ch- arsenal are fighting for it again we can totally see it we see it in the games we see how they are approaching their extremely professional clinical like all props to them everything else in between is up in the air and i think team should approach this as a sp- as a marathon rather than the sprint because there will be so many teams that will start falling off drop po- dropping points things like that so i think the measured measured expectations tempered expectations for chelsea is like really good and the fact that they have the squad to to deal with this europa conference league bullshit as well right like mariska can easily place those 20 other players who are like not with the squad into that team and just like go play <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you guys want to do so yeah i think yeah. it's in a good spot they i don't know i'm still i still don't like the way that they run as a football club but if you take that aside today's football was beautiful it was nice it was nice to watch it was easy on I, I personally agree with all of it, all of that you said and i will just add that i think this is going to be chelsea i think chelsea last season and even this season thrives when it becomes a chaotic game saw it against city last season united uh, when they scored the last minute winner saw it today first half was kg like they were they scored but they conceded twice and i think they rattled wolves players like with maduoke's instagram saying wolves is a shit place and uh, they were each and every time you saw two players coming together they were like kind of fighting there was when this guy scored mathias kuna scored he ran into jackson so there was like they were able to rattle wolves and you know what happens is like once you're rattled and you go down the third time so you're trying to come back immediately or like immediately trying to land the counter punch it's like a typical boxing or like mma analogy where like you got mm-hmm. hit from a knockout punch but you were able to survive then you're immediately trying to hit back just so that you know to show and and establish yourself back in the ring and that's what mm-hmm. wolves did and then they conceded the fourth and once you conceded the fourth after that you're just you're not deflated because you're just knocked out at this point and then fifth sixth seventh eighth whatever the number is it's just like a number because then you just keep on scoring again and again i think they will have a lot of such games where their quality will overshine the minnows but then wolves were really bad too so i don't think it's a it's yeah. like a one of it's it, 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 i don't think it's like it's going to be a norm but i think it's definitely promising and it does one thing that they desperately need is some good pr yeah and i think that can help them live for a few more days especially they have yeah. servet in the in the midweek so they can have like a big score line again uh, the so, next three yeah. fixtures are also look very winnable and like yeah. if you uh, you come out of the you start the premier league with five games out of which if you for instance win four and the one game that you lost is against city all of a sudden it's not a really bad look right like you're yeah. in the shout you are early leaders in the league you have the points in the bag so everything will work in their favor after that fifth game is when their fixtures look like very scary so they should capitalize on this as a squad they should probably think that let's go get these points on the board and after that when liverpool arsenal everyone else come knocking let's see let's you know let's see what we are made of but first yeah. i think they need to build on top of this and as a chelsea fan this is what you would hope for right like this is like your time is back boys like just be happy for another week or two and hopefully like in the next three games go in your favor and they're they're all coming out of their closets and yeah. bouncing some people are some people already are <laughs> 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 like jersey is coming out of the clouds yeah. yeah i had to like <laughs> to like dust it off mm-hmm. <laughs>